how to see how healthy your liver is right now, part two. Just as I mentioned in the previous video, you're gonna need a little bit of information that you can get from your most recent blood test. Specifically, you're gonna need your liver enzymes, your AST and your ALT. You're also gonna need your platelet count and your albumin and this time you're also gonna to need to know your body mass index, which if you don't have that, not a big deal. All we need is your height and your weight. If you know your height and weight, go online, type in BMI calculator. You're gonna put in your height and weight. It'll calculate that for you. Once you have that information, you're gonna go on a search engine and you're gonna type in these letters and these words, N-A-L-F-D fibrosis score. Go to the first website that pops up and you're going to input all that information. By the way, that website's also going to ask you if you have elevated fasting blood sugar levels or diabetes. Just check yes or no. Once you input all that information, it's going to give you a score and here's how to interpret the results. If you are less than minus 1.455, you are at low risk of liver fibrosis, liver scarring. If you are between minus 1.455 and 0.676, you're at intermediate risk and you're if you're above 0.676, you actually have a elevated risk and you really should follow that up with your doctor. I do want to point out that these tests are not a substitute for going to your doctor, but I'm not sure if your doctor is calculating this at all on you because there's no one to my knowledge has ever done it to me. And I also want to point out one other thing. If you did the other test that I mentioned in the previous video and you were kind of like in the gray zone and you did this test and you're also in the gray zone, well, again, that also should be followed up with your doctor for a more advanced scan, like maybe a fibro scan or something like that. But do calculate both of these scores to see where you reside and let me know what happens.